there's enough in your vortex to keep you thriving for 20 or 30 lifetimes that's how dynamic it is that's how big it is and you want some of it how are you going to get it you got to tune your tuner to the frequency of what your inner being is broadcasting which is what we're calling the receptive mode you got to get in the receptive mode you've got to think like your inner being thinks in order to be in that receptive mode you can't be blaming your husband you can't be blaming the economy you can't be blaming government you can't be blaming an employer you can't be focused on the absence of what you want and tune your tuner to what your inner being is broadcasting and your inner being is not going to change its broadcast to match yours ever your inner being is going to stand in your prosperity you got to find a way to be there too so let's talk about you being in the receptive mode so the receptive mode means you've got your tuner set for something and if you're walking around in this world like most people what you're observing is what's causing you to, to set your tuner complaints from your partner um, different things that are happening in your life bills Esther set her tuner from a telephone call she received just for a moment until she realized she'd done it and then she said uh-oh gotta go and then she did something about setting her tuner differently you see what we're getting at yeah. in other words if you're aware when you're doing it now money is the hardest thing really because that's the thing that you've been worried about the most for the longest and that's the thing that you've activated a bunch of vibrations about usually that you're not going to change overnight but you can change them and you must if you want the prosperity that is due to you you've got to cash in that vibrational currency and the way you cash in your vibrational currency is by finding a way to line up with it which means right here right now you've got to make the decision not right here right now we don't mean this is the only now there's gonna be another and another and another and another and another and another, another but sooner or later one of these nows that you're standing in the middle of you've got to be willing to give up your arguing for your limitations because every time you say I can't or I haven't or it's hard or nobody that I know is doing it then you're just practicing setting your receptive mode to something else so if your receptive mode is not set to this frequency what's it set to this one mm -hmm. this one this one this one this one there's plenty of frequencies just like on your radio stations and your vehicles there's lots of different frequencies it's endless that dial is long and endless you can set it to anything along the way so how do you know where you've set it how do you know where you've set your tuner two ways how you feel and what's happening and both are good ways to know so if prosperity isn't flowing in incredible abundance to you knowing what's in your vortex as we do you got your tuner set in a screwy way mm -hmm. and the reason that you do it's usually for a couple of reasons one is the habit of just observing what is what is is compelling we know that it is bills are compelling when they come they get your attention we know that what you're observing is compelling the other reason that you often set your tuner differently than we would like you to is because you still don't believe in the vortex you don't believe in the vortex reality mm -hmm. in the same way that you believe in the bank account reality the bank account reality is just more obvious everybody including your banker your credit card holders they all believe in your current reality your credit score believes in your current reality in other words there's so much to observe that believes in your current reality and your current reality does not mean diddly squat because as you said to us and we're going to hold you to it that is what's temporary that's what's temporary that changes 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 but the thing is when you're talking like you've been talking here today and it's all right it's pretty normal it changes to the same thing over and over and over again different faces different places it just keeps changing to the same not letting in your prosperity but it's changing it's dynamic and with just a little bit of attention to stay in your lane just a little bit of attention things will change we wrote a game for Esther and others many many years ago that shifted their vibrational point of attraction about money dramatically we said to each of them find a way to get a hundred dollars you can do that and put it in your pocket and walk around with it in your pocket 
and notice all day every day what you could spend it on if you really wanted to oh I read that I read that don't spend it just walk around with it in your pocket I could have that I could have one of those shoes <laughs> <laughs> I could have that. I could have that. I could have that. Spend it all day long. I could have that. Ooh, 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 ooh. I could have that. I could have that. Because as you vibrationally spend that all day long, you get into this mode of feeling about your prosperity differently. And before you know it, money is flowing into your experience. You've got to find a way to look at money differently. Then we said, get a columnar pad, spread it out, and put your biggest debt over here. What is your biggest debt? Usually a house payment school loans <laughs> all right rather than your biggest debt let us ask you in terms of your biggest monthly expenditure what's the biggest one my rent housing so put whatever that is in that left hand column then what's next car mm -hmm. then what's next you tell it probably the light bill so stretch them out across there how many columns do you think there are house or vehicles Probably uh, about 10. Utilities, yeah. so forth. And on there somewhere are school loans. But So spread it all out from the largest to the smallest. And then look at it and say to yourself, these are my commitments. These are my intentions. This is my responsibility is not a bad word. It is my plan to do my best to take care of all of these. So just kind of sit with that a little bit. And then say to yourself, and this one that's way over here on the end, what is it? School loans. What's the one right before that? <laughs> um, light bill. And what's the one right before that? Car. So you're doing all right. So the one that is the smallest monthly outgo, say to yourself, I'm not only going to pay what I have agreed to, I'm going to pay that one double. What is that payment? Probably a hundred bucks. And there's nothing that you pay that's less than a hundred dollars each month? No. Not, well, yeah, like gym membership, you know, stuff like that, but yeah, no. I'm going to pay that twice every month. I'm going to pay it twice. Now, what happens to you is it shifts the way you're looking at it because now instead of just keeping up, you're actually doing twice as well as you said you would that shifts something in you. Mm -hmm. So what begins to happen is that before long, the reason that we were fudging a little bit on that one is because that one is a large one and it's going to take a while for it to go away. Your gym membership is something that is ongoing. It's a sort of pay as you go. Right. But if there's something like a credit card right. that's 30 or 40 or $50 a month and you pay it twice, in time and usually in a much shorter time than you realize it is going to go away and little by little by little by little these columns shrink up and so what happens is you begin to develop for yourself at the same time as directly following your adjustment in the way you feel vibrationally what begins to happen is your discretionary income becomes much much more hmm. now your discretionary income becomes much much more for a different reason than you think many think as we play this game that it's just a game of paying that off so you've got more money and paying that off so you've got more money and right away you think oh that's going to take way too long but what happens long before you've paid that one off or that one off or that one off or that one off because of the shift in the way you feel about what you're putting out because instead of resenting it you're playing a game instead of being behind you feel ahead in other words your vibration shifts and more money starts coming in from everywhere right Money comes in from everywhere. Money you didn't even know you had coming to you comes. People find mistakes that they've been making. People give you money that you didn't even know was coming. Things begin to happen. Because in that now new discovery of a new receptive mode, the ideas begin to flow to you too. You start turning thoughts into more money. It's law. You feel different, don't you? Yeah, well, what I've realized is that what you've confirmed for me is that that's what I've been doing. That's why I pay 100 bucks a month because my credit card is 50 bucks and I've been doing that. So what you've helped me confirm is that I'm there, but I'm not allowing myself and I'm not appreciating the space that I'm in. So if the fear is, I'm not 
you can't focus on what you don't want without yeah. feeling negative emotion because your inner being will never focus on what you don't want you're doing better than you've been allowing yourself Absolutely. to believe that you're doing Absolutely. and if you can leave everybody else out of the equation in other words somebody else even somebody who lives with you might be looking at it differently than you are you can't let that affect your vibration although in the same way that it's not easy not to let a bill affect your vibration it's not easy to not let somebody else that is feeling strongly about something affect your vibration but that's what your true currency is that's what you're cashing in all the time that is your pathway to the abundance that you seek a positive attitude is the pathway to the abundance that you seek and it's not an iffy pathway it's a sure pathway and it's not a long slow hard pathway it's a much easier smooth pathway you just got to find some way of changing the way you feel about it which means you cannot face reality which means others are going to say to you hey you got to get your head out of the clouds and you say no that's where my vibrational currency is right that's where my abundance is I have to focus in a way that I feel prosperous so then you ask about spending money that you don't quite have yet in other words because you like that feeling of prosperity there isn't anything wrong in fact some of the most dynamic businesses that you are aware of have huge debt in other words we're not talking against debt we're talking about vibrational balance there isn't anything wrong with you spending your vibrational currency in physical manifestation form before it's actually money on your asset side of your balance sheet but it is important that you be in that vibrational place where you're not worried about it so once you get yourself in that stable place then you can tell what that action that you're considering how it's going to affect you vibrationally and that is everything and this is the most important part of this discussion you got to get out ahead of it you've got to get out ahead of it vibrationally you don't have to get out ahead of it financially you've got to get out ahead of it vibrationally out ahead of everything vibrationally don't wait until you're in fear to try to do something to get yourself out of fear when you wake up in the morning you are not in fear until you think the thoughts that you were thinking yesterday that lower your vibration so get out ahead of it get out ahead of it by caring about how you feel and then the two ways that we were saying that you'll know how you're doing what your vibration is how it's turning out and how you feel now how you feel will be dominant how I feel how I feel how I feel you know those people that just feel steady and solid they're just not worried about stuff mm -hmm. and you know those people that worry about everything even when they really don't have anything to worry about mm -hmm. <laughs> you see them all around you you know them up close that tightwad won't spend anything it's like he's worried about everything he should spend his money we say he should do whatever he wants and you should mind your own business <laughs> just do whatever it is you need to do in order to keep yourself feeling better now do you feel better I do there's a little a little edge in that I do feel better about this so now if you feel better about it milk that just a little bit get that momentum going I'm doing all right and I'm pleased with what we're earning or what's translating and we'd like to say to you that the true earning that you're doing is not what you're doing through your action the true earning that you're doing is what you're doing with your vibrational balance it's your vibrational balance and you got to know that you've got to know that because look at the difference in what people around you are receiving in terms of money you can't explain it through their action can you you've all got the same 24 hours in a day and you're all limited to that degree of what you can do and yet the difference in what people are receiving is enormous you've got to understand that they're not earning through their action and they're not earning through their education and they're not earning through their context and they're not earning through some way that's immoral or illegal they're earning through their vibrational translation of the vibrational currency into their bank account you earn with your attitude you earn with your mood that's how you do it Thank you.